Hey, it's me, Bri, from Tell em Steve Dave. Are you tired of your TV bossing you around? Oh, watch this now. Watch that then. Fuck that shit. TV's not the boss of you. That is why you need HuluPlus.com. You can watch thousands of hit TV shows when you want to, where you want to. You can watch it on your tablet, your phone, your TV, wherever you want to watch it, man. You can just leave your TV in the dust totally. Fuck your TV, man. Because not only do they have regular TV shows, Hulu Plus has a great selection of acclaimed films. And what makes you sound smarter when you're in the company of decent folks than to talk about all the acclaimed films you've watched. So for only $7.99 a month, you can stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, wherever you want. They also have exclusive content. I'm talking originals. Hulu's producing. They're taking place of the networks now. They're moving in on you. Networks. Uh, the Awesomes, starring SNL's Seth Meyers. Moon Boy, starring Chris O'Dowd from Bridesmaids. Right now you can try Hulu Plus free for two weeks when you go to HuluPlus.com slash T-E-S-D. And then after that, it's only going to be $7.99 a month. That's nothing, man. That's pennies. Pennies. I'm telling you. Your life is back in your hands. Doesn't belong to your goddamn TV anymore. All you need to do, again... Go to HuluPlus.com slash T-E-S-D. Hey, you want to start your own business? Why not, man? Why are you going to work for the man? LegalZoom provides self-help services at your specific direction and can connect you to an attorney, but they're not a law firm, so you're going to save a pile of money. So right now, you can start up your own business, incorporate it, form an LLC. It's only 99 bucks. Their online process will guide you step by step. You get total customer support. What else are you looking for? All you got to do to get an extra discount is add TESD in the referral box at checkout. So don't wait while, you know, your blowjob neighbors and some jerk off down at work. or They're all starting their own businesses while you're still shucking and jiving. Get in the game, boys and girls. Launch your business now. Don't put it off. For corporations, trademarks, patents, and more, go to LegalZoom.com right now. Discount code T-E-S-D. That's LegalZoom.com. Discount code T-E-S-D. I th- now, I'm saying if they they're funny. funny, they will find other things to joke about other than making me feel bad about myself. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like taking a stand. He's outraged. <laughs> Let's say some rabid TSD fan came in here, right? Was trying to get in while we're recording right now, and I fucking slammed the door in their face. You like crush a microphone over their head? <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him, Steve Dave with rock stars BQ. Hello. And Walt Flanagan. Hello. And myself. I hate it when people refer to themselves as rock stars. Unless you're a real rock star. Who said that? Yeah, who says that? Uh, lots of people say that. Never, when I was in, um, person say that. Really? No. Nope. When I was, uh, when Kevin and I did Why Bry um, out in, right. in California, uh, there was a drunk lady. Cute. You would have liked her. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she uh, kept insisting that uh, she and her niece were rock stars. I see. I didn't know exactly what I meant. But so it's just... We're well, cool. It's a different way of saying we're really cool. Hold on a second. I just want to be clear on this. I would have liked her because she was an intelligent woman of indiscriminate... It doesn't matter what she looks Let like. Let me put it this way. She wasn't fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to avoid, dude. That's what I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> She was some uh, blowback last week. Well, people uh, didn't like you and his I, I his opinions. I, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not even clear. I had requested 
an email with specific points that I could address. From who? From the offended party. Oh, was it just one person or was it parties? It's, I mean, one maybe. Seemed to be just people. her. Yeah. Well, whatever. And I, she's cool. She's a, she's a nice girl. Oh, I wasn't. No. Yeah, I'm not coming down on her at all. But I, I was just, I just wanted to, I was hoping that in time for this show, I'd be able to address specific things. She said I slut shamed and I was like, I was like, what? I've never in my entire life. Maybe skank shamed. No. No? I think if anything, we know. That I celebrate all skanky and slutty behavior. I don't think that I've ever yeah. poo pooed anybody for that. In fact, the opposite, Walter. Poo pooed. He's just digging is himself he, a deeper he, hole. Is he, I don't know, is he writing history here? I don't know. It <laughs> seems that way. We'll have to go back and check the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back and check the tape. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it, it led into. Um, it just. It was. I was thinking about it the, the day after okay. that because there was the, the fat stuff. And then I saw. A costume. Uh, it was Huffington Post. I was drawn back there. <laughs> this <laughs> and, is a long um, hate relationship. Huh? Uh, I can't stand them, but I gotta go. It did. Well, you didn't always. You didn't start out not being able to stand them, right? Like you. Th- th- it was actually kind of normal. I feel yeah. like a couple of years ago when I first started looking at right. it, and now it's nonstop. Like, guess what? Kylie and Kend- uh, Kendall Jenner did. They got right. mad that they got thrown out of a club for being underage. Right. And there's a whole long article about it. You know why, right? Um, I guess because people care about them. Because <laughs> I was like, who gives a fuck? And then I look at their Twitter and they got like 4.5 million followers. Well, I mean, they, the Huffington Post is only reporting what people will click on. Right. Okay. If they report on the um, on Obama's botched health care bill, mm-hmm. no one cares. No one's going to no one's gonna click on it. But two dopey teens, tweens, whatever the fuck they are, can't get into a club. And they're famous or their sister's famous. All right. Click, 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 click. And apparently you you were clicking over there as well. It sounds like Declan Quinn and his <laughs> fucking family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, family. <laughs> Belly up to the buffet, everyone. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> I got to – you know what I want to do for the – I'm willing to pay for this. Uh, <laughs> I want to pay for genetic testing to see if Declan and I are related. Hmm. How fucking cool would that be if we go back far enough? How much are you willing to pay? How much could it possibly be, right? Two thousand. Woof. <laughs> I mean, I'll just say we're I related. Just say, I know you. No. You're not. You're not. You're pretty cheap. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not two thousand. That's not worth it. But bring him on, Maury. Yeah, Declan, you are the father. Um, <laughs> let's see, genetic testing. Um, because that would be cool. For who? For me. For just you two. I feel like it would yeah, be really course. anticlimactic either yeah. way. <laughs> I was going to say, would really Who anybody ever give a fuck? <laughs> I would care. Declan yeah, would care. Well, I mean, well, you guys could just pretend you guys are related. Oh, it's fucking 99 yeah. bucks. That's it? That's it. That sounds awfully inexpensive. Oh, so you need a cotton swab from Declan? Uh, I'm going to send s- a sample. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, Declan. I'm gonna pay for yours too. I'm gonna work it out. Q, you find out, and also at this lab, mm-hmm. they do some testing, right? And they find out some other people you may have been related to, like oh. Martha, Martha Quinn from MTV. Okay, would that be as cool? No. Colin Quinn. Yeah, Colin, Colin Quinn would be cool. Colin Quinn, you'd be you'd be you'd be you'd be run down here next week and proclaim that you're Colin Quinn's I would, yeah. cousin or something. I like how how long I've liked Colin Quinn. A long Very long time, time yeah. Okay. I um, used to go see him all the time at. Uh, that one comment. What about, comment, right? Seller, yeah. what about Brady Quinn, the uh, sure. qu- the quarterback who got who who was a, he looked like a rock star, but mm. he played like a, um, like a freaking. I mean, it, I don't think he would care. I don't think Colin Quinn would care. I don't think anybody would care, but Declan, <laughs> put it that way. What if it was somebody infamous? Um, how infamous? Hitler. <laughs> of course, it's got to be the show, Hitler. <laughs> Pull up a chair, Adolf. Just got, just got a chair. <laughs> fucking Adolf on the back of it. <laughs> um, it would be pretty interesting if I found that out. Would, would, would you let the world know? Or would you keep that a secret? Would, I, uh, would uh, True TV allow you to let that get out that you have bloodline <laughs> <laughs> goes back to Hitler? <laughs> um, I'd have to. I'd have to let everybody know. No. Yeah. No. You think True TV would be okay with you saying that? Well, there's nothing on my contract well, saying I can't talk about my lineage. Well, especially, I don't think you would just say it. It's like you would celebrate it. Ooh, like you, no, you if mean? you celebrate it, then it, you even be, even be, wor- I mean. Oh, then he's done for sure. You're done. You're done. And, and 
Well, I would Hollywood here, closed like, its doors. Guess to you. what, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> totally representing Adolf. Like I want to do that. Like I would. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Repping Adolf. Yeah, like I, I would. You know, you I know how you get a gold tooth, or like if people. Do oh, they that. got the grill. Yeah, you can get like a gold plated mustache. <laughs> 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 you like how those dumb mustaches are popular now? <laughs> but you you really couldn't really. You'd have to keep it on the I wouldn't keep it on, on the, the down low. I wouldn't right? celebrate it, but I wouldn't keep it on the down low. How would you announce that to the world? On Tell Him Steve Dave, bro. I would be a Tell Him Steve Dave exclusive. <laughs> Watch out numbers for the, spike. For the, for the fiasco pod. <laughs> <laughs> That would be that would be the that'd be the, the showstopper right there. Nobody follows that. There's no way to follow that. I, you know that blood test I was going to do about me and Declan. Well, found out I'm related to Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Sunday, Jeff, brace yourself. Ah, uh, well, let's see. All right, Declan. Like I found the first one that I could see. Which is called Twenty Three and Me. I don't know what that stands for, but Declan, you do a little research. If you could find that one or a better one, I'll pay for it, buddy. We'll do it up. It'd be fun. Again, Except for who? For me and Declan. Okay. Well, come on. If I go, uh, nobody else cares. Oh, come on! If I fly to <laughs> Ireland for the next Declan Quinn family reunion, you know I'm coming back. Have you ever stores. been to a family reunion? Do you like even see your fucking reunion? real family? Apparently, you've been telling us that you uh, you, no, you avoid them like yeah. at all costs. Like they got the plague. No, now now you're like maybe I, I just don't see them. But if they lived in Ireland, yeah. their them. lives are too normal as of, as, I, as I recall. <laughs> now he's chasing Declan all over the Emerald Isle. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. <laughs> um, fuck. What were we saying now? Uh, oh, who you related? I actually just read a, an article today about a. Guy who thinks he may be related to Charles Manson. He says he thinks he may be his son because his mom used to live in a commune. I bet you he has and, a lot um, of love ch- children. Right? Oh, he's got her, right? right? Hey, uh, Charlie. Yeah, and um, but they, I guess they won't let they won't let him test Manson to see if it. Uh, who won't let him? Uh, the prison system. No? Like they, they, yeah, they won't. Well, so what, what can you get from him from finding out? Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, why would you want people to know? That you're related, but he. I guess you could write a book. Yeah, probably. You could write, but he was like, "I'm peace loving. I don't. I'm not into any of the kind of stuff he was into." Blah blah blah. Or you do it the other way, and you're just like, you embrace it, and you're like, you go, you become his advocate. Like now, I gotta start killing people. No, no, but you just not that you start killing people, but you just become, Mm -hmm. you know, you become his. Who's those guys? You know, those those cop killers that uh, had rock stars, fucking. Write songs about and demand that they get, they uh, get released yeah. and shit. Yeah, well, uh, Axl Rose and then Guns N' Roses, they put one of Charles, they did one of Charles Manson's songs. Oh, they songs. one of his songs, right? Yeah. yeah. On, uh... You agree with that, Walt? The uh, Guns N' Roses covering a yeah. Charlie song? Um, I mean, it's purely just for PR. It can't possibly be because Axel was like, this is some great songwriting. Right. You know, it's just done just... Oh, to- it's like, look at your game, girl. Some I mean, corny song. Yeah, 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 I good. imagine it's done solely just to ruffle the feathers of the, of the man and everything. Hmm. And uh, I think now that's, you know, we've come... Covering a Charlie song now is meaningless. Nobody yeah, cares. I'm sure there's a whole album dedicated to Charlie songs. I, I think most people... Most like your younger demographic is like who's Charles Manson? Exactly. You know, <clears throat> I remember in, when I was very young, I might have been like seven, and I had a Mad Magazine, and it was like the lighter side of or one of, like one of their Charlie normal. Manson. Well, it said, said something about Charles Manson being your next door neighbor, and I remember it was like a huge like, um, like you know when you get your caricature drawn at like Great Adventure or something. Sure. Uh, it was. It looked like that, and Charles Manson was like popping his head out of like. Uh, a neighboring house staring at the neighbors. <laughs> and I didn't get the joke because I didn't know who Charles Manson was right. at the time. But he was popular enough at one point to get into Mad Magazine. Oh, God. I mean, it was, I mean it was, he's pretty iconic for yeah. the 60s. I mean, yeah. it's like top 10 things I think that came out of the 60s as far as pop <laughs> culture. I don't mean top 10 in a good way. I mean, right. just as a, a eventful, Notoriety and significant and, uh, uh, and, part of uh, history of, of the late 60s. I wonder that was, what that was like, man, living on, like, the Spawn movie ranch, dropping acid with a bunch of stink hippies. I don't know. You read these Riding stories. Riding dune buggies like, around. People fucking 
like how all these music icons used to just hang out with each other before they were famous and stuff, dropping acid and shit. And just, it's like, it's just a life I'll never know. Like, I just will never be a part of. Yeah. Sad. See, I would have thought the True TV ensemble, like L- right. Lizard Lick, right. the Jokers, yeah. um, Hardcore out. Pawn. You guys would have, like, you go out to a, you, maybe you guys go to a dude ranch and hang out. They're, dry, they're dropping acid and driving dune buggies around. <laughs> 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 Writing Hard- songs and shit. <laughs> Hardcore Pawn guys are screaming in their faces, get the fuck out of here. I won't give you five bucks. <laughs> Hardcore Chicago Pawn not invited. <laughs> <laughs> they still on the air? Do they still? their show they were really nice they were really nice hey um you guys know the band lamb of god yeah i've heard of them i went to see their show fucking metal dude i thought they broke up lamb of yeah god. <sighs> they're rocking bro where'd you see them at roseland ballroom what Manhattan. made you see them free, free tickets, tickets. <laughs> oh, really no uh my buddy is a big big fan of theirs um, my buddy Pete, you know Pete, and uh, he was like, "Do you want to go?" And I was like, "Yeah, I said, of course, I'll fucking go. I'll check out metal show." Um, but then the lead singer got arrested for pushing someone off stage. He killed someone in Prague. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I thought that's just- yeah, that's what it was. And mm-hmm. he got arrested because somebody rushed the stage and he pushed him off, and the guy fell and cracked his head and died. So the show we were supposed to go was canceled. Oh, now is he being prosecuted? No, no, he got you know they found that it wasn't his choice, his fault, Ooh. obviously. But now that's got to that's got to help your cred yeah. in the metal game to kill somebody like throw them off the stage. <laughs> but it's all but it's got to be pretty tough to deal with as a as a person though. Well, uh, is it? I mean, the I mean, come on, you. if somebody let's say some rabid TSD fan came in here right <laughs> was trying to get in while we're recording right now, and I fucking slam the door in their face, you like crush a microphone over their head. <laughs> Crossed oceans of time. Oh, I would be, I would be devastated. Yeah. Unless they, unless I find out they didn't order the cryptozoic man booty time, then I'd yeah, be like, you know, just count what they deserve. Pauper's well, grave. I mean, you don't know because like they're just rushing to the store is different from like if someone's rushing past security onto the stage. You don't know what happened. You don't know what they're going to do. Daryl, man. Didn't he yeah. get shot up there? You yeah, can't be shot. fucking. Yeah, but I've seen a lot of footage of bands and they let fans come up. Um, and if it was, a, I'm sure it was a dude. Would he have pushed a, a hot, like, double D? You know, um, or an overweight woman. Either way, it's not right. What if it was a skank? <laughs> but I've seen a lot of footage where the girls get up through stage and they hug uh, yeah. the lead singer and they they put they're, a boyish grin on. They're not getting thrown off. They're, yeah, they're not, yeah, there's, no, there's no danger of that girl getting her skull smashed. Right. But if you're some dopey fucking drunken slob. Yeah. Right. I love you, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not expecting rock stars to be fucking politically correct now, are we? No, maybe. No, Jesus. you're right, Q. Yeah, come on. It's the last place. Why? Where men why? Can why, be men. But why are why are podcasters expected? <laughs> no. Nobody's uh, never rushed one show I've been on. Like <laughs> rushed the stage. You want to know how metal Q isn't? He's already seen Lamb of God and he doesn't even fucking remember. No, I remember it. they were from Metallica. Yeah, okay. I remember. <laughs> I'm going to. A, I'm going to. A, I think it's. Uh, it's kind of. I guess we'd call it a rock show. Okay. I'm going to a rock show with my daughter. Um, in November, going to see Paramore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, I was ice skating the other night, and um, my daughter got all excited because this song came on. She goes, "This is the band we're going to go see. This is the band. This is Paramore." And I swear to God, I was like, "No, it's not. It's I saw it's I saw Comics by Courage, My Love. It sounded just like it." Really? Yeah. So this band. <laughs> so that's what I'm in store for. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, apparently, they uh, they really sounded like Courage, My Love. That's what I've heard um, before that people uh, compared the two. And Paramore's pretty popular, right? Where are you seeing them? We're going, we're going to the Garden. I mean, it's so a, they're selling oh, out a stadium. This, this is a this is a big deal, man. Not for me, but for, for uh, I mean, for my kid and everything. She's you're she not going to let her just take the train up by herself. No, she's only uh, ten years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I never I I can't you know what I I really for the first time feel like the cool dad because I never would go with my parents to a concert as I was 10. I would never want to do that. Right. You wouldn't have wanted to? No, I would have felt so self-conscious. But no, she's, My she's, parents never would have brought me in a million years. <laughs> not a million fucking years. But she's so excited to go. She gives me the countdown every day and she's not one. I mean, now, to her credit, she's not saying, I wish I was going with my dad. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so that's cool. She that's hasn't said that cool. once. She's more, she's just happy to be going. 
That's nice. I mean, <laughs> it would really suck if the whole time she's like, I just, you know, it's cool, but it's you. <laughs> but you know what? I would be thinking the same thing. You know, I wouldn't want to go to see a rock concert with my mom. I love my mom. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. But at 10 years old, I want to go to a rock concert? No, I would love to. I'd love to go to a rock concert with my mom. <laughs> really? Even, yeah. at, even at this point, I'd be like, no, Ma, this ain't your, this ain't your, this ain't your gig. Mm. This ain't your speed. Me and Q brought my niece and her friend, remember? Yeah. Sleep is for the week. I will never, I will never <laughs> die. So you thought it was nice. Oh, man. do you think Paramore listens to this? You think I then get backstage to see me? Oh my god, my kid would go crazy. I, I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah. What would I have to do, Q? You gotta be able to get backstage and do things. <laughs> uh, what, do you, what do I gotta do? Well, I got backstage at uh, at, at uh, Lamb of God. You did? Yeah. Man, How'd you, you guys pull that? Them? How'd well, you they, pull? What'd you have to do? They're fans of the show. <laughs> Shut their cock. <laughs> So I, they ran Again? A tra- yeah, they ran a train on me, and I got backstage. Uh, well, I had Stacy. I had Stacy with me, so I just threw her front and center, and they fucking took her back. No, really. What did you really have to do? How, who'd you have to contact? I didn't. They, they're fans of the show, and uh, we have a mutual friend in common. So you had to email somebody, a mutual friend. No, no, no. He, I didn't know I was going backstage. That mutual friend was at the show, and he goes, hey, the guys want to meet you. Come backstage. So I got to go back. Do you have any mutual friends who are no Paramore? I doubt it, but I'll ask. Thank you, Q. I'll ask. We can so, also talk to people at AMC. I'm not going to do that. I will. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> no? No, they're not going to help. Nobody ever helps. Nobody you helps. You got to rely on friends, bro. Or, you know what? Um, what's her name? Kevin's uh, assistant, uh, Megan. Megan. I bet she might be able to help. Maybe. Let's oh. work on When is the show? November 13th. Okay, oh, so we got some there. time to work on it. Mm-hmm. November 13th, you're going to be too winded, dude. November right. 12th. Oh, November 12th. Uh, can we get into that, right, real quick? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, well, to get into it, I have to talk about, um, just real quick, just to touch over again, just to give, just to keep people abreast of what's going on with the Cryptozoic Man. If you didn't listen to last week, um, look into send uh, issues two, three, and four as one shipment. Uh, you know, we had some erroneous um, postage quotes. Um, Led me to believe that we could do this uh, as a as a one time shipment and kind of um, take care of some some snafus along the way. And in in response to that, and if you were were, were willing to wait, uh, we would you could get a a bonus pod called the Fiasco Pod. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're not willing to wait, send an email to Creaky Cares C R E A K Y Cares at uh, Gmail. That's only if you don't want to wait. If you want to wait, do nothing. Um, but as far as the fiasco, I was pretty bummed out about that. I had to do this. I had to I had to bring this up and had to yeah, announce this. Right. But I've seen people in America though. They said they would wait too. But oh well, yeah, this is for everybody. Oh yeah. If you want this pod, you got to wait. Right. Has anybody written in? Yeah, some people have written in, and I understand they're that you know what? Hey, I offered it, and you know it's like offering a fucking dining room table, and I'm be like, here's a dining room table. Now can you wait for four months for right. the four chairs? I understand people don't want to wait. That's cool. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not here to uh, name any names who didn't want to wait. Fitz but the man. number has been so small. <laughs> yeah. That um, it's inspired me. Because We're rich I, again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's inspired me to really put some effort into the fiasco pod. And this is what you're going to get if you wait. I'm having a tough time, man. There's been so many fiascos in my life. I, just, <laughs> I can't choose down. one. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Like you know what? I, I, for once. You don't have to bring you, you. I mean, you brought that that bag story on the. Um, you're, you've done <laughs> your part. <laughs> even if you bring us something of, in the fiasco realm, um, that's doesn't even touch that. It's okay because we got some other content. Okay, so first we'll tell a little bit bit of a. And oh yeah, I'm gonna tell a fiasco story right. involving someone famous. Whoa! But uh, my my plea is for anybody who listens to it is to not get on fucking line and tweet that person or tweet that person's organization. I would love Make for, to tell foundation. this story. <laughs> I would love to tell this story and not have anybody go and fucking try to tell this person, like and announce this person that I told it. Affleck yeah. put his balls on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's possible? I think so. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think people will respect that. Like this is just for the people who are waiting and, you know, a special story that I would never tell on the public, tell them Steve, Dave. Mm-hmm. But on this ver- but on this closed kind of pod that only certain people are listening to, I'll tell the story. The famous guy isn't Mike Zapsick, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a good story, and it's a it's a it's my fiasco story. And um, but I'm only going to tell it 
if I have the confidence that people won't mm-hmm. go go run right back or <clears throat> run and try to uh, confirm if it's true or not. Yeah. Believe me, it's true. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to embarrass this person or or um, have the organization contact me and be like, why'd you tell that story? No. Yeah. So I'd love to be able to tell. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what your story is. It, oh my god, it's great. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's fucked up. Yeah. Okay, so that's why. Better story. than my canvas tote bag fiasco story. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, yeah. Right. But but Q, I'm bringing it back for the fiasco pod. Mm. We'll tell our tell a, a quick fiasco story each of us, and then we're going to get back right into it. With um, haven't played it only one time before. Saki to Ming. <laughs> oh, is that the one we did in the morning show? We did it on the morning yeah, show. Yeah. And, uh, and we're going to play Saki to me. Ming is in. I've given his wife the questions. But you can't read the questions. Okay. You have to give it to your significant other. Okay. And, and trust me, I I didn't put anything on here that I wouldn't answer myself. I'm right. not about to try to embarrass you. Okay. Or humiliate you. Right. I'll leave that up to yourself. Okay. And your significant other. <laughs> <laughs> not really. No, there's no question on there. No, that, no trust we, me. We faith in you. All right, now, he so has, I, now he has to figure out what cat is going to answer his questions. <laughs> <laughs> I need your significant other to answer that. Seal right. it back to me and give it back to me okay. the next time we Without see each looking. other. You can't know the answers. Okay. Bri, here's yours for Suzanne. Okay. And the, this, the, pro, the uh, topic of Saki to Ming was we would answer kind of like newlywed game type questions. Uh-huh. You get it wrong, got to take a shot of Saki. Get us okay. all liquored up. Not me. <laughs> Not you, of course. Yeah. <laughs> right? Get us all oiled up and ready to go, and then it leads into a game called – and Je- Jeff is going to be involved in this too. Really? Yeah, so he's – And then he has to drive home. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he gets too sockied up, I'll drive home, I told okay. him. Okay. <laughs> um, and then that leads into a new game that uh, and we're introducing called Conjoined Twin. Oh, Jesus. And then we'll finish it up, Fiasco Pod, with the original Fiasco game of all time uh, – a Sunday Jeff, one, two, three. <laughs> you remember the first time he did it? Uh huh. Oh yes. The, the disappearing listen- uh, <laughs> Arn or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. If you li- if you listen to last week's Halloween pod, mm. you know he hasn't gotten any better since then. <laughs> <laughs> he was beside himself. He's- I-, I wish sometimes that we videotaped the, the show because right. he was looking down and shaking his head and like like beside himself, man. It was weird. I, I'm so excited now for the fiasco pod. Over initially, I was so bummed out we had to right. do it. I don't even want to do the regular Tom, Steve, Dave. I just want to run right into this. <laughs> this is going to be so good. And this, you only get this if you wait. Right. All right. So if you're unwilling to wait, email creakycares at gmail. Tell them you don't want to wait. You don't want to hear this gold. And I wanted to throw something else at you yeah, guys. Okay. We offered four issues, right? Mm-hmm. Cryptozoic Man. We offered. The Cryptozoic Man pod, which they've gotten already. And if you haven't gotten it, email Creaky Cares. We'll make sure you get it. Uh, email with your name, your order number. If you have an order number, just your name. Is it Gmail? Creaky Cares at Creaky Gmail? Creaky Cares at Gmail. Well, we offered a Cryptozoic Man pod. We offered a nice cell comics pod uh, where it said... Um, I can't wait to hear Taking hay. Taking right? hay. Their version of making hay. Did they make it yet? Is it done? They're, they're, they have footage for it. They're, they're compiling footage. Um, <sighs> That's what I most want to hear. Um, after the lineup for the Fiasco Pod, Conjoin Twin, you don't even know what it is, bro. It's going to be better than Taking Hay. Oh, no. Well, you, <laughs> you know that. that. Don't look forward to Taking Hay. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith in my boys. I think they're going to pull it off. Uh, all right, so all right, so you're looking forward. To it. If you're looking forward to it, you know there's other people out there, mm. you know, who are going to have right. their hopes dashed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of I sell comics. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> what's going on with the I Sell Comics T-shirt? Oh yeah, we'll let them finish up. Do we have any? Do we have anything else? Yeah, I do. I, uh, yeah, but real oh, quick, yeah, I'm wearing an I Sell Comics T-shirt. The guys are starting to sell them now, and uh, you know. so that so that's not based on your song. That's no, based, that's on, based the on their podcast, podcast. Mm-hmm. Okay. of the same name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, should I be getting a cut of this? No, why? Just because you came up with the title of the song and you know, like the song, yeah, and just because it's it's co-owned by Courage, my love. And, you know, like, why should anyone else see anything from it? <laughs> you know, oh, I didn't ever even thought of that. They only based uh, everything on your intellectual property. That's it. <laughs> Is Courage, my love, still active? Oh, yeah, yeah, they they came back for the bonus pod. Oh, they they did the uh, they did the, a little uh, did a little welcome. hello for us. So anyway, back to what you're getting. Okay. <laughs> the I Sell Comics pod is – get. you're getting the Fiasco pod. So that's right. three pods, four comics. That's almost a pod an issue. 
That's what I'm getting at, Q. That's insane. Can I count? Can I? Can I ask one more thing of you? Yeah, go ahead. Between now and January, okay. Can I get a fourth bonus pod for these people? <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the best. You want to do vinyl cast too? I mean, what are we talking about here? Please, Q. Can I get of course, a? Of course. Can of I course, please Walter. get a fourth? How awesome! Is it? It'll be I, the greatest I, I booty said, time ever. I said no for comedy, comedic sake. Of course, <laughs> of course, we could do that. Oh, uh, it seems like everything I'm asking for, I'm getting. All these people <laughs> said that they would wait. Right. Um. Now you have just agreed yes. that we will do a fourth. Absolutely. Not only will you get Cryptus Oak Man, I sell com I mean I I sell comics and Fiasco Pod, but a yet unnamed fourth bonus pod to ship right. with the last issue. <laughs> By four pods, four comics. Unheard of. Jeez. All because who, it's like, who else is doing that? Nobody. Nobody, because nobody fucks up. <laughs> <laughs> has, you know, well, has we to fuck do it. up, but like, are we not making it up to him? I mean, come on. Well, making it up and and the fact that only a minuscule portion of the people have 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 come out and said they they don't want to wait. Right. It's made me appreciate and all over again and just really hammer home how great the audience is who listens to this and I and I if I could it's almost like I want to hug every one of them but you know I hate to hug. Yeah, I know you've told me that. <laughs> uh, I don't want They don't like hugging touching. you. No, yeah. And not Poor anything, BQ. It's just me personally. Yeah. It's not anything with you you guys. I know, buddy. It's just me. But uh this is how I'm going to hug them. With a fourth pod that they didn't even know about. <laughs> and nor did we. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll come up with something between now. It'll ha- we'll have some time to recuperate after Fiasco Pod. <laughs> if you want, we can get drunk again on the fourth pod. If you're- oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're talking. All right. Well, you got the sake. Uh, Love it. So, and you can drink even if you get the questions right, Q. Cause, oh, so. Excellent. <laughs> but a fourth POTUS pod. And if you haven't ordered it, we're going to open it up again. I was going to say, that's what people are asking, if you would yes. open it up again. We will open it. I'm right. sure people are now are happy that this commercial at least leads to something they're going to get for free if you already ordered it, an, right. a, another right. bonus pod. But if you haven't ordered it and you want all this great stuff, don't order it online. you got to call the store <laughs> or email me at kmuse2, K-M-E-W-E-S-2, so I can handle this personally so this gets done right. Um and I'll make sure you get it, and you get all that great stuff. Four issues, four pods. Never in the history of podcasting has there ever been something this great. This, this kind of crossover. Thing. It hasn't been done. Every listener. And it never will be done again. No. <laughs> every That's every every record for every, every listener is wet right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to, to say that they are. To hear that they they were in. If I just gave them fiasco. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to give them fourth pod. <laughs> it's crazy. They just came. They were wet. They were this wet by like, the third this pod. Is like, well, this is like podcasting porn. Yeah. Mm. This is hardcore. And that fiasco pod, I, I am like, I'm not lying to you. I really wish we were doing it tonight. That's how excited I am for it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. When are we doing that? Next week, right? November 12th, the day before Paramore, I right. will be here all night long podcasting. Right. Oh, we're going to do, but oh my God, what a night that's going to be. Gonna so be we're doing fiasco and the Christmas pod? Fiasco and Christmas <laughs> pod recording. But I figure you guys are drunk a little bit. You guys are all loose. We got up. some Christmas cheer going. A loosey yeah. goosey. Okay. You're all oiled up. And you're like, to me, you know why uh, the Warby Davis episode was so good? Because mm-hmm. we're kind of delirious from doing too much potting. I think that's when we're at our best. <laughs> well, we're kind of tired. Right. And you, get, right. you let your guard down, you get a little silly. Well, I'm bringing a bottle of wine. I got sake. Okay. You got bring whatever sake. you want to drink when All you right. get the answers. Excellent. Whenever Excellent. you get the answers wrong. All, All right. right. So I'll go back to Mrs. X. I'll deliver this to her tonight. Bri, you got yours. I got mine. It's in my Do bag. Not cheat. Oh no, I wouldn't. I know you. I would not cheat. I worry about some of the people playing now if they'll cheat though. Yeah. Yeah. Some aren't to be. Well, you know. When, when join you twin. Help. People are probably going. What the fuck does that mean? Well, you're going to hear what it means. Yeah. How, how could you not be nervous, though? I mean, you have people at the table that have stolen uh, property from you, intellectual or otherwise. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, well, turned it into merchandise. If they steal, if they steal the intellectual property of I saw comics to song and use it as they will, <laughs> you think they're not going to cheat at some at a uh, quiz that I gave them mm-hmm. to give to their wives? Did you uh, have to pay for that shirt, or, is, or actually, they didn't even know. I, I just took it out of the uh, box. Okay. They don't even know I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> I sell comics. I'm going to wear it tomorrow to work. Now, is this a, a store? Um, is this a store piece of merchandise, or this is their own? Uh, uh, like, are they selling it themselves? I believe they're going to be selling it at their cons, and I believe it's available online now too. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty, online. it's pretty dope. Let me check it out. Simple, 
Simple Very. but elegant. Mm-hmm. I saw comedy. You can wear it to church. It's looking good. <laughs> All right, we got any, uh, so yes. Yeah, so again, if you want it, haven't gotten it, 732-758-0508. Call me or Mike or Mark or email me at K-M-E-W-E-S-2 at Gmail. Four pods, four comics. If you don't get it, I mean, I don't know what else I can offer. Yeah. Holy shit, I Maybe a fifth pod? <laughs> <laughs> just keep How many until... pods would I have to offer to get every listener to be like, all right, I'll be in. I'm in. I think people might start canceling the rotors. <laughs> They're like, I don't well, there's something wrong with these guys. <laughs> hey, man, if fucking men can fucking podcast seven days a week, which is what he's doing yeah. right now, we can't throw a, a couple extra podcasts. He has three pods. Key, what do you think of this? He, he has I Sell Comics. He has this morning show, and now he and Mike are doing the secret stash. Where I guess they, they just podcast about the, the show, right? Yeah. The episode. Oh, okay. so three podcasts a week. I can't believe I saw well, you, uh, you're, you're on that level almost, too, aren't you, Q, now? Two. Two? You're Two. getting your closing in on Ming? Yeah. <laughs> He's got 103 issues of I Sell Com- episodes of I Sell Comics. Yeah. Well, they, 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 are, they, are, um, they are nothing if not um, prolific. prolific, and they stick to a schedule. You know, reliable. Oh, reliable. Yep. <laughs> Predictable. <laughs> One might say. <laughs> like um, like the Saturday Evening Post on, in your mailbox. Exactly. Or Andy Griffith on, on, on Sunday night at 7 o'clock. <coughs> All those exciting things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See that Saturday Evening Post in your mailboxes. <laughs> All those things all the kids rush home for. <laughs> People can't get enough of. <laughs> I don't see an I Sell Comics t-shirt for sale. Uh, maybe it's an exclusive for cons only then. I don't know. Am I con hot wearing this? Oh, definitely, man. Yeah. People Any would think you were this shit. Right? Well, I was, we originally started, we were talking about um, Huffington Post. And I saw something that uh, I found. I think what you have to do, not you, but everybody. You get offended at something. You get angry at something. Something fucking pushes your buttons. Before you fucking start tweeting about it and calling for it to be taken down or whatever, you have to really fucking give it some thought and say, like, look, if this isn't allowed, then all this other shit can't be allowed either. Because the Huffington Post says uh, the most offensive um, Halloween costume oh. ever. Ever? Ever. Oh, and, I mean, is, it, is it a costume of a person? Uh, a public figure? No. No, not, it's not, not even a public figure. Really? Wow, I would have thought for sure it was like... Yeah, it would almost have to be. Yeah, like some sort of Obama-centric... Well, or... that was last week. Evidently, now there's a new most offensive uh-huh. costume, but um, it's a... Uh, I'll find the picture for you. It's a, um, it's a woman in a... Toilet? It's a shirt. No, I wish. <laughs> um, yeah, she says toilet cake across her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's a woman yeah. in a... Oh, well, if you listen to the C-Man bonus pod, you know you wish it was a <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a... Okay, I have the picture right here. Controversial, they call it. Uh, it's called anorexia, okay? Well, okay, so, so it must be somebody skinny. Play on words. Skeleton? Uh, it's a t-shirt with a skeleton on it, right? I mean, this is what it looks like. See. It's this woman. And uh, She's bony. that's the most offensive costume I mean. This is what they say. Who, who, that, but it's just a costume of a skeleton. It's just the title and name. It, it's the name. Yeah, it's the name. But well, I mean, I guess you know. Are you not saying that that's a legitimate disease? Could you? Oh no, it is. It's totally legit. And um, uh, to me, though, it's like okay. So you see, if you take that name off. Nobody's thinking anything, right? right? It's just a skeleton. It's a t-shirt. It's a skeleton leader, right. whatever. But to say like, well, you, you shouldn't call it anorexia because anorexia is a serious disease. And this is telling people that um, if, if you're skinny, uh, that equals sexy. And um, that's not Ooh, right. Blah, blah, blah. But the society has definitely said that if skinny is sexy, though. Sure. Over and over again, it's thrust down everyone's throat. Right. I think, though, they're saying that it's like there's thin and then there's like uh, oh, then sickly there's, thin. Then there's like uh, then there's heroin the next, thin. Right, right. Heroin chic. And uh, I agree. It, it's horrible, anorexia. You know, it's I don't suffer from it, obviously. <laughs> I wish I could get I a piece of that it. problem. Yeah. I wish I could find a bug yeah. that would bite me to, to give it to me. Exactly. I mean, I've been, I've been trying to contract it. But here, here's the thing, you know, and the, I guess it was they said and this, it really like 
there has to be barely any squeaky wheel to get grease these days. Because I said 250 people complain and they pull it off the shelves. Well, yes, because you you guys have shown you're the litmus because you got one person complaining about what you said right. last week. And you guys were like, you wanted that email. They want, You wanted them to email you so you could talk about it. The squeaky wheel... It don't. Yeah, it all it takes is one. With her, not yeah. the, not the, <laughs> not <laughs> but yeah. to, but it uh, definitely, it definitely, it, you're the petri dish, man. You guys, when you guys see one thing, I remember my you, dad used to say that when he walked into my room late at night sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and you react, and and it, 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 it's like a science project to see like the the steps that you guys um, take or. You know, the, the levels of annoyance and whatever when if someone says something <laughs> negative, though. But the 500 things are like, love the Halloween pot or whatever. just goes <laughs> in one year and out the other. So it's this true. company of sure can't, if they get 200. Could you imagine you got 250 tweets? You guys would be on a ledge. Um, yeah. <laughs> I would be on a ledge. I get argumentative. <laughs> but so, so they, they pull it. But to me, I feel like, you know, these people are like, it's not funny. Um, this is serious, blah, blah, blah. But to me. Halloween, isn't it the one day that you can be macabre, you can be grim, you can Right. But yeah, I know. guess there's I guess there is a line though. You got to say there has to be a line though. Nope. There no has line. to be a line. No line. If I were to write down for you, I won't even say it aloud because I learned my lesson a long time ago. But if mm-hmm. I wrote to you what I thought the most offensive Halloween custom was, mm-hmm. you know you there that's a line, you couldn't cross it. I couldn't wear it? Here, Nobody write it, write it, it down for me real yeah. fast. Um well, my point was here. Okay, here you go. Uh, Sage's father, right. my, uh, my sister's husband, mm-hmm. hung himself years ago. That's right. Committed suicide. Now, um. <laughs> all right, case closed. Well, I was going to go. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That's, right. Is there a line, Q? Yeah, you could go. Just you know, you well, just, well, yeah, next, be you better be wearing again. a mask, <laughs> <laughs> and I better have a white hood. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, ne- the next one I show you probably is, is is as bad, if not worse, than what you just wrote. But anyway, so he hung himself. Now, uh, in, in uh, historically, what is one of the things in a haunted hayride that you see the time after time after time? People being hung. So, do I now run around to every? Uh, haunted hayride and be like, hey, this is offensive. This no, isn't funny. because you're not a cunt. I am not a cunt. You're, you're right. You're not a cunt. Um, Who fucking believes that the world should sit down and fucking kiss your ass and fucking everybody's going to conform to the way that you see the fucking society and shit like that? Of course not. Of course you don't. Of course. Well, I did it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. That To me, it's like the anorexia thing. It's like if you have anorexia, like I know people have had eating disorders and sure. stuff and it's it's horrible like people you know models yeah. you see if they die and shit it's it's truly awful but you see that what well, like you see people get empowered though by a small vocal 250 people got a costume taken down right from where right. though from, from where? where but then it's so yeah so it can it makes a difference in today's world though so people get empowered by their their they feel that their voice do you want to know? It's being heard and, and steps and people are reacting. So why on earth are they going to stop now? They're going to, they're going to complain Just and bitch about everything. About and a everything. lot of times they're seeing results. Do you want to hear something like you think 250 isn't that many? Um, you know, Chi Burger, Chi Burger. I love over. that place. Did you notice that um, for a long time, Betty Boop wasn't covered up? Like her little dress was blown up and I think you could see her underwear. Um, I don't, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. There's like a, on the wall, there's like a bunch of different fifties okay, and, yeah, yeah. and so, all oh, so, the, stuff. Yeah, so, okay. so Betty Boop, I think it was like a cardboard cutout cartoon right? and some lady complained mm-hmm. that her skirt was blown up or she was like bending over and you could see like her underwear a little bit right. mm-hmm. and they then put a sweatshirt up over it because she complained to the corporate headquarters or whatever. One fucking person. Right. Now look, I don't really give a fuck. If you can see Betty Boop's underwear or not, the sweatshirt doesn't. I'm not like, fuck, well, this is why I came. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Come for the burger, stay for the panties. Well, you know what? You're, 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 I mean, I got some compl- – I mean, I've been doing some customer service over the weekend. Okay. It's important to try to make your customer base happy. And if that means making your customer base happy, putting a sweatshirt over it, you're not going to lose one person by covering up those, those undies. But you might lose one if you don't. 
You probably would lose one if you didn't. You would lose that lady. Right, and you're not going to lose anybody if you one cover him up. One person. Uh, so wh- why not just cover him up? Oh, no, I understand. I understand why corporations do it. So but let's Tim- turn, like, society into the lowest common denominator, f- denominator, like, fucking everybody's happy, everybody gets along Why bullshit. can't we? But nobody's why, happy. That's the thing. Why nobody's happy. To, why can't we just try to all be happy? Because we're not talking about racism, and we're not talking about, like, Blacks aren't allowed in, in, into the store and stuff like that. Shit that is obviously. Oh, you change, you change your rule? Well, but, but, <laughs> you change your rule? <laughs> <laughs> but that shit But that shit was changed by people getting vocal and people rising up and you people being what? like, You're we're not going to take right. this shit no more. And now we're going after fucking Betty Poop's underpants. I know. And, now, and now that's what we're saving our fire for. Like, that's what we're now saving our fire Why for. Why not, though? Because it's fucking more important <laughs> shit to fucking tell me, fuck. tell me what's more important on Q's agenda than Betty Poop's underpants. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> What's, what's on there? Than Tell me. Betty, Betty, Betty Boop's uh, fucking underwear. No, nothing's important on my agenda. My agenda is just fucking. <laughs> right, you but you're not, you're not the guy, though. You're, you're not you're a good example. The, the fight against racism, <laughs> against the fight against a cartoon. It's not even a real woman's panties. <laughs> it's drawn lines. But, but, why, but, but it, it's, it's been shown that in unison. Many a voice can make a difference. One voice can make a difference. Yeah, but not every voice matters. Yeah, Some voices should just wrong. shut the fuck up. You're wrong, though. No, I'm not wrong. You not every wrong. voice matters. Results. The, re- it's a re- the world is a result oriented. Not here. Now tell him, Steve, Dave. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like taking a stand. He's outraged. <laughs> 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 but it, I mean, but you've seen one voice can make a difference. Betty Poop's pants are covered. Um, what are I we, still goes. Mm-hmm. I still go. Right. We don't care. I will never. And that lady. <laughs> <laughs> not until Betty Poop's fucking panties are, are reinstated. <laughs> but why not try to make this world the world that you want to live in? Though why why remain silent? If you see something that pisses you off, why not say something? Because you have to understand that, like, what offends you. For you to like the anorexia thing, for these people to be like, okay, now you can't have that. It's like, well, what if suddenly I'm like, well, I'm offended by blah, blah, blah. And they like it and they don't want to see it go. Well, it's up to but the person supplying it something. to either take a stand to be like, I'm willing to stand here and, and take on the people who, who don't want me to sell it or I'm going to just remove it. It's right. real. I mean, it's up to them to whether they want to take a stand. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, my, my point is not to like, to say, that people shouldn't be offended by something. My point is like, you don't have to like take a step back and be like, okay, I'm offended by this one thing, but I mean, how many things in Halloween are offensive? How many, and so it's like, so should we just fucking every single person? All right. You get to choose what you're offended by and let's remove it from the fucking Halloween. Well, that's what, that's how everything is done. Do you know how many Freddy and Jason costumes there are out there? That's people a celebrate murder. serial a killers, serial killer. Right. So what? Now, now serial killers are fine, but not anorexia. Well, I think I think you can make the case that you don't see a lot of real life serial killer costumes. It's really never done. But to say though that like, well, your whatever you're outraged by has to be has to be felt and shared by more than just um, a thousand people for it to be a legitimate outrage. I don't think. I mean. Who's to say? Be as outraged as you want, but then don't just don't buy it. Like you don't have to then like. Take it to the next step where it's like, this shouldn't be available to anyone because I don't like it. Just like, just like I said, uh, I'm like, oh wow, well fucking ha- people hanging is not funny. So therefore, I'm, I want this removed from, uh, f- from every haunted hayride in fucking New Jersey. Oh, well fucking my, my, uh, uncle, he got buried alive. Uh, so I don't, I don't want anybody rising from the grave. Uh, <laughs> my, my aunt, I'm a goner, got buried alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's fucking ridiculous to me. I just think it's ridiculous. And if you just take the name anorexia off there, nobody would even know. Well, what, why can't they sell the t-shirt and who, without taking that name off? The, I guess the box is already printed or whatever. Like uh, the costume is already done. But who the fuck looks at that and is, and sees anorexia and is like, hey, you know what? I, I guess being fucking so skinny that like you look like a skeleton is pretty sexy. It's like that. I think well, if you're going to have any, there's, isn't that definitely like, don't like a lot of model agencies. Weren't they like just going after that look? For oh, someone? sure. But so, I, this is fucking not even a real person. It's a picture of a skeleton. It's a drawn but skeleton. I guess you but it's, if you, if, if you, you look at a model, yes. From it, if, if you look at a really model, suffer from it or, uh-huh. or God forbid died from it. I'm sure you looked at that. You wouldn't think that that was even humor. Humor. You would look at that, and you probably won't, you would look right past it unless you didn't see it in a news story, right? Yeah, I wouldn't even notice. Right, but if you looked at that costume 
and uh, you had a daughter or a sister or a mother who died of anorexia, mm-hmm. I don't think you'd have the same reaction. I, I wouldn't complain about it, though. I, wouldn't you wouldn't be, com- I, I know you wouldn't complain about it, but you bet you'd stop at it and be like, Oh, that's pretty fucked up. Right. But I would move on. I would not be like, yeah, now no one should fucking be able to have the anorexia costume <laughs> because something affected me personally. And that's what the fucking United States has become. So many fucking pussy, whiny ass babies that are like, this offends me. I don't like it. Therefore, it shouldn't exist. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not even – doesn't even become about intellectual dialogue of like – all right, well, look, maybe this isn't a good idea because of this, this, and this, and this. is. It just becomes just like, what? Take that down. Like, blah, 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 blah. It's just fucking, it's reactionary bullshit. I, I hate it. I, I fucking hate it. And it's not as big as like, like you say, like, you know, the racism. It's not as big as the Vietnam War. It's not as big as anything not. that's super meaningful because it's fucking literally one day out but of the year. who gets to judge what's meaningful and it's what's not? not. Like, look, anorexia is meaningful. <laughs> like, it's, it's... A legitimate horrible thing that that you know, blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not saying yeah, that. Nobody's saying not it's not. No. Everybody's saying it is, but it's just like it's a play on words. It's it's a fucking play on words. Yeah, and I I agree with you. I think that if a, a young girl is looking at magazine after magazine, looking on the internet and seeing all that shit, that may very well incite her to lose an unhealthy amount of weight. That fucking costume. I cannot imagine just because somebody sees that name and then sees a skeleton shirt is like, oh my god, you know what? Oh, I, I agree. That is super sexy. No, but I think though, like, <laughs> it's a, making it, light of that disease. There are certain diseases you wouldn't make fun of, like you would make you would never have a cancer costume. I don't think you would, maybe, but I doubt it. Is there a funny play on words for cancer? I'm sure if you sat here long enough, you could find one. Like, if I call the costume tumorous. And it's a fucking and it's a it's a stick on tumor on the side of your neck that has that tells jokes. That's a robot that tells jokes. Is it is it cancerous tumor or is it benign? <laughs> t- t- tumor's cancer. <laughs> what is it? Any tumor cancer? It. No. Like, if it's malignant, it has to go. If it's right. benign, cool. <laughs> right. But I mean, like, that's where we're at. Actually, that's a good idea. Tumorous. <laughs> and then, like, and it'd be like tumorous, and be, my father had cancer. I wouldn't be like, well, my God, what? Yeah. Cancer's not funny. Well, somebody on Twitter pointed out, uh, they pointed me to a website where people were very outrageous in the UK, um, mental, mental patients, you know, like straight jackets and shit. But the, the costume is literally, it doesn't even look like a human being. It looks like it's a straight jacket and then it's like a, like a, like a skull with blood pouring out of its mouth. Like, it's just like, it's, you know, it's not a real mental patient. Right. And none of these things are real mental patients, sure. like you know these different costumes that they have. Nobody's like, oh wow, here's I'm going out as a person with uh, bipolar disorder. I'm going out as a person with borderline personality disorder. It's like they're going out as a elevated, cartoonish right. uh, version of a mental patient. Nobody, but nobody, unless you're a fucking total idiot thinks that mental patients are fucking frothing at the mouth 24 right. seven, uh, killing people and bound in straight jackets nonstop. Right. And that was the, it's problem. not the society we live in anymore. It's not. That was the problem with like racism where like people would put on fucking blackface and go out there and be like, Oh no. And act mm-hmm. like fucking idiots. There were people who were like, yeah, there they go. Mm-hmm. That's a good costume. That's how they act. It's just like, that was the problem with that. Nobody thinks fucking mental patients are like walking around fucking Looney Tunes. No. And especially not even like they, they has like a meat cleaver in his hand. And uh, all this other shit. It's silly. But that, you know, it's interesting you should say that because it brings me to my next costume, which is the, uh, for some reason, uh, there's a girl who looks like either Green Lantern or Robin Hood or something in the middle. But it's uh, George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin oh, okay. costume. All right. Where have I heard that? Which, uh, oh, remember the, the black oh, that's kid? That's fucked up. <laughs> well, that's not a legitimate costume, though. That's something that they, that's something they put together. Costume. Right. Yeah, but no one's actually selling this. No. No. <laughs> I mean, that's so fucked up. I yeah. mean, could that face get blacker? Like <laughs> Holy it's shit. it's a, it's a white guy in a black face with a sweatshirt, not the ISL comic sweatshirt available starting today, <laughs> uh, with a blood spot in it, and yeah, then somebody that has a, a shirt on that says Neighborhood Watch. But you know what that with is? With the biggest fucking smile. I know, that's too. fucking funny. Is <laughs> like, look at how young they are in that photo. Mm-hmm. Like, they're kids. Doing something to be deliberately shocking and to be deliberately attention seeking. Yeah. yeah. That's the society it's we live up, in, though. OQ. That's fucked up. Yeah, but what do you do? What are you supposed to do? We with need kids attention. Like that? They need, but what are they supposed to do? 
What do you do with kids like that? Like you can't fucking it's their freedom. Incredibly to bad taste. Horrible Incredibly bad taste. taste. But should you not be allowed to do it? No, you could do it, but you're gonna pay you're gonna pay the price, the repercussions that come with it. And that's what happens. You might get your ass kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you probably should, but I, I do think that it's like if that's the way you want to go to a Halloween party or, or fucking whatever, go ahead and do it. But you might get I your mean, if fucking... one of my friends showed up in those costumes, I'd be like, you guys are fucking insane. Do you remember? But I don't think I'd be like, get the fuck out of my house. Really? Like, you guys are nuts. I'd be like, get that fucking blackface. <laughs> or like, come into my house with that shit. <laughs> or get in the house before somebody sees you. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, take that shit off, man. I, that I, you know. But I want to be furious. Mom, Dad, are you crazy coming <laughs> over here just like that? <laughs> Ma, you look just like Trayvon. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty fucked up. Um, it's pretty Q, fucked up. I'm actually, I'm actually stunned that anybody would think to do that. It's the face is so black. Do you know it's why people nuts. are? Do you know why people are able to do to make those changes that you hate? Like to, to the wee squeaky <laughs> wheel. Yeah. It's because of this device right here. It's all because of this. The internet. It's all because now everybody is able to speak and everybody is able to get yeah. the attention of people they could never have gotten the attention before. Right. Before this. this. And most people are fucking stupid. We ran and ran on blackface nonstop before the internet. <laughs> right? But like that costume would have came out and nobody would have heard of it. And the only right. letter writing would have been able – the only way you could have reached right. that corporation or that company who made that costume. But now – and that, and that and is that a good thing or a bad thing, you? Um, Everybody has a voice now. I think we're Good still. I think we're still too early in it to say honestly. The jury's still out. I think the jury's still out. Yeah. Uh, isn't it a good thing though that everybody everybody can now be heard? I think so. I mean, before I, you were now you were just one of a million in a sea of a million. Now you can basically have your voice heard. Yeah, by anybody who chooses to listen, I guess is that is is the flip side of that. And if you well, if most people listen if you're upset about something though. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I've been upset about plenty. Nobody fucking listens to me. Really? What were you upset about that no one listened to? I'll listen right now. Yeah? Well, I'll listen. I'll tell them Steve Davies is listening right now. Yeah. <laughs> What's got your goat? <laughs> what, what, what it's, it's the Betty Boop thing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, right now it's the fucking situation without cables. I'm glad we got color cables. I don't, I don't really have anything going on. Yeah, thank moment. you to the listener who sent in. Oh, that was a listener sent, sent in cables. Just You've got to be kidding me. No. That was a listener? That That's makes listener. us seem really fucking pathetic. <laughs> that they're like, please fucking just fix your shit. Oh, wow. Who sent these in? Uh, it was a listener who just said, hey, for, uh, for the Tom Steve gay, guy, gay guys, for the Tom <laughs> Steve Dave guys, I uh, got you guys some cables. Oh, shit, man. Because he's tired so of fucking much. hearing that we can't get our fucking shit recorded, right? No, now, right. Now we're just waiting on a new soundboard. See, if it wasn't for the internet, we never would have gotten those fucking cables, Walt. Yeah, like it, he was the squeaky wheel. <laughs> um, I have one more costume here. Hold oh, on. God. This is, um, this is not blackface, though. This is something totally different. This is... Uh, there you go. Could somebody go as a hunchback in Notre Dame anymore? Well, Tom? Disney made a movie about it. Yeah. Some people recently. have hunchbacks, man. That's not right. So... Could somebody go as... People go as Osama Bin Laden. Right. People go, I was like, remember, I, I, yeah, I think we were in L.A. at the time. Remember that waitress? She went as John Benet Ramsey, and she had ligature marks around her neck and shit. Yeah, we weren't happy about that, as no, I recall. No, not at all. Oh. Yeah. wasn't happy about it, but, but I, I didn't fucking take to the streets. Did you, know, a waitress that you guys, the waiter and you guys? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you make a stand? Did you say, like, we're no, not going to? I don't think we to... tipped her. Yeah, I think we didn't made, tip her. We made but... your stand. Yeah, but we didn't go to the fucking management. We didn't go to the newspaper. We right. didn't fucking make a big deal about it. It's incredibly but poor you taste. You, but if you would have brought it here, though, if you had a pot at the time, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, we're doing it right now. <laughs> and you would have and you would have mentioned the well, that's restaurant. We fill an hour and a half a week. And you would have mentioned the restaurant you guys are at, and you would have fucking Lulu's in L.A. And you would have, uh, <laughs> and you and when you had bad service at the restaurant you went to, you immediately come on the pod and, and complained about it. Oh, so many years ago, I remember. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't complain about it because I was dressed as Adam Walsh. I, I like made it, made it look like my head was missing. <laughs> it was a riot. <laughs> um, a mother daughter duo drew criticism with the matching costumes they wore to an elementary school Halloween party. They wore black sweatshirts. White face paint and white trash bags with the words white trash on them. Oh, they're going to say, I saw comics on them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no difference. So they're white trash. Roseville is known for white trash, and you just don't do that at a kid's function. 
says Megan Machenko, a mother of a child at the school. You can't have weapons, you can't have blood, you can't have gory stuff, but racial slurs, go right ahead. How the fuck is white trash it a is. racial slur? It is. How Take it from somebody who's fucking white trash. But how can you say it's not, though? I'm glad at least this is finally coming to a head, though, because too long. So wait, you're, are you, you're saying, okay, here's yeah, you're, white trash, yeah. and then you're saying nigger. That is the same. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going to say N-word. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, but I, I, nobody's I'm offended glad, by though, N-word. That, that people are finally realizing, though, that you just can't <laughs> slag off white people as if and, and it's and it's and it's okay there are two white people doing it <laughs> it doesn't matter though man it I doesn't mean, matter I you, think you can still rip on white people you still that. can but I, but in a couple of years you won't be able to it's going that way no yes yes it's no gonna, no way yeah. you think the day will come when it's like like it's already started people are like hey it's that's already too, started that's too offensive to white guys <laughs> i don't yeah. want to live in a world where you can't rip on white people <laughs> it's ha- it's gonna happen q it's going like to take that. a while, but eventually it will come to a point in our society where you cannot say the term white trash. And I'll be, and I'll be uh, a day when I'll be like, good. You're going to be happy about that? I'll be happy about Why? that. Why? Some people are you, fucking white because trash. Certain, because our show is going to – because it, he doesn't want to do – You can't uh, make fun of, of certain segments of, of the population. Of course you can. You, no, you, there's, some, there's some segments you can't and you know it. If you can't make fun of all, don't make fun of any then. That's my motto. No. If we don't, then he's just trying to get out of doing uh, comic book men anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Because if, if, that's all I do is make fun of white guys on that show. No, I'm just saying, but you, you, white guys. For the, the sake for their whiteness. Are 100%. Dude, there have never been in the, in a the more cross privileged area. group of people <laughs> in the history of the human race don't than white us. men in America. <laughs> I, they could take a hit or two. Like, right. a problem. I'm not saying tomorrow it's over. you got a couple years to fucking slag on us. <laughs> but right now, we are in the crosshairs. And the people are taking, the their pot, <laughs> are taking their pot shots and they're having a grand old time. But that joy ride will be over soon. Society will be saying oh, you we can't do that, that anymore. That, dude. It's already happening. Brian's showing you that it's going to suck. Yeah, you but can't that's do it. They feel they're white trash. I'll never get upset if somebody makes fun of white trash. But but yeah, you won't be. But you've also said you don't care about some cartoon characters' panties being in the air. No, I so it. but there will be a there is a segment of the population who doesn't like that term white trash, and that will be eradicated soon. I don't think so. But, but I, I'll make that bet. That VHS bet that you made with oh yeah, I'll make How that long? bet. Ten years you can't say oh, white trash. Oh, you're gonna lose that bet. You got Ten it. years you, you got can't. It. That it'll be it'll okay. be a faux pas. You got it. <laughs> to say white trash. As the it's French says. Years. As the uh, frog says. Today's date, October twenty eighth, two thousand thirteen. Fifty bucks. I'll write it down in my bucks. book. Okay. okay. <laughs> that'll be worth fucking three cents by then. It will be potting by that point. You, you think, think it's still be potting? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it will. <laughs> um, yeah, no way, dude. What? The, uh, well, who's gonna judge it? White guys have had it. I'll let you let, judge. Let it. Brian judge. All right, I'll let, let Brian be the judge. impartial. He's, a, he's judge. impartial. I think no. it'll be it'll be something that is not. Yes. You won't be hearing on TV. No. This is too. Why? Why not? Because you can't. Why is it okay? Because white people have been in charge of the fucking planet for hundreds and hundreds of years. We're the man. You can always take shots at the man. You're supposed to take shots at the man. But in a, in a culture that is trying, and I, in a good way, yeah, is trying good way. to make everybody the same. Absolutely. Then you cannot have this one segment then still be allowed to no, take the, 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 way that you, the, the way poison that you arrows, I think an important the hurtful arrows. That, an important <laughs> step of that is by, is by being able to, to mock and openly make fun of. Uh, <laughs> why? So there's this one segment. That you can openly mock and no, make fun the, the, of relentlessly. Yes. It's not just one segment. Everybody gets made fun of. Just you got to be creative when you make fun of other people. Right. But openly, but the yes. trash, the word trash, I right. think is the key here. Trash. Q, I hate it's to hard, say this. It's hurtful. I hate, okay. to, <laughs> I hate to say this, but I think Walt's on his way to winning this bet. Yeah? A Colorado university took the step to discourage white trash costumes and parties for Halloween this year, along with other costumes based on stereotypes and racial slurs, such as geishas. Costume using blackface. Is a real thing? And cowboys. Oh, they don't want you dressing like a fucking cowboy. How is that racial? I don't know. I don't want to Making the, the choice. We can't make fun of white people. Or cowboys. Do you want to give me the 50 now? No, I want to. <laughs> or, 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 but there'll be interest on that 50, though. That <laughs> <laughs> doesn't pay off until 10 years. Making the choice to dress up as someone from another culture, either with the intention of being humorous or without the intention of being disrespectful, can lead to inaccurate and hurtful portrayals of other people. This, Fuck you, but man. You hear, that, hear that's cool. jargon? Hear that speak? That's, that's the way it's going, whether you like it or not. 
Get with the program. It's a fucking great world we're going to be I living am in. with the program. I'm not <laughs> racist. That world's going to Utopia. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna walk around in white fucking lab coats. If that's what it takes for everybody to feel loved and welcomed and accepted, I don't. It's want, a small price I don't to want pay. To isn't feel it? accepted and loved by everybody. Why not? That says a lot about because the, people are fucking. A lot of people out there are assholes, and I don't want them accepting me. They're only probably assholes because they're just not happy. No, with the they're way the assholes because they're fucking s- stupid, small-minded idiots. That's why. Some people just aren't intelligent. Some people are just fucking assholes. So you're saying that some, a person who wants that word eradicated from uh, everyday use is not intelligent? Uh, somebody who wants – who is concerned about the usage of the word white trash has their priorities way out of order. It's pretty out of whack. And in a fucking world where it was based on fucking I – mean, we don't live in this world. But if if the world went to shit tomorrow, that asshole – Crying about the word white trash would be the first against the wall. Whoa. What does that mean? It means Quinn's going to gun him down. He just said it. <laughs> you, you're, in, in a, we're trying oh, to take Mad away Max my jokes. Tomorrow. It's Mad Max It's tomorrow. Mad Max tomorrow. And you're telling me. And the pamsy fucking pussies who fucking sit there and whine and cry about all that shit are the first to go because they ain't going to survive. Oh, let's share the meat. Oh, everybody should get their own fucking can of beans. Fuck you. I'm going to shoot you in the face. I'm going to take your can of beans. That's what's going on. I feel like Sunday Jeff right yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but we don't live in that world, though. No, we do not. Which is good. I don't want to live in that world. You either. sound like fucking Fred Flintstone in your pelt. <laughs> <laughs> He's Archie Bunk over here. <laughs> Why? Well, I'm fighting for the rights of white people to get made fun of. <laughs> like think of all the black comedians they'd lose their whole routine if they couldn't be like white people dance like this like we, we'd lose we'd lose whole segments of humor whole segments of if it. they're funny I th- well, I'm saying if they are they're funny. funny they will find other things to joke about other than making me feel bad about myself what but you're <laughs> <laughs> How is he saying this with a straight face he's a master <laughs> He wants utopia. What, what uh, I, want some, I want some more fucking booty times. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, customer service. I saw how you guys got fucking slagged uh, last week when you're talking about fatsies. <laughs> fatsies. <laughs> uh, no more sex work, uh, sex worker costumes either. No, no more pimp and, and hooker costumes. Q. Too offensive. In the workplace. Uh, it says it all. Additionally, well, this is the, the mm. college. Right. Additionally, some students have also hosted offensively themed parties that reinforce negative representations of cultures. Like what? Uh, uh, ghetto parties, white trash parties, hillbilly or slash Maxwell parties. <laughs> this is the or thing, with though. crime or sex work. So if you just call it something else. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't write white trash on your costume. Right. But like, <laughs> let's, say, but like let's say they're saying themed parties. Yeah. So I want to throw a white trash party. Okay. Okay. And then I'm like, oh, shit. The college has a new rule. We can't throw white trash parties. Isn't that just Friday and Saturday in Staten Island? <laughs> <laughs> so I find that offensive. Yeah, yeah right. So how does it feel now? Hey, you know what? You know what, guys? I was wrong. It hurts, right? It hurts. It's a, two, it's a double-edged fucking knife. You learned something today, Q. Over there, Q. You're right. I did learn something today. You're right. You know what? I'm going to take back everything I said. And that's what I said before, Brian. Like, instead mm-hmm. of, like, having fucking discourse and talking about it, everybody just gets all fired up. I was guilty of that myself. I got all fired up. Walt, with one sentence, has changed my entire view on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to formally apologize uh, to, all, to, the white people to all the white people that I may have offended by saying that you're able to be made fun of. What would you think the uh, segment of the Tom Steve Babe listeners that are um, – that would be uh, – White guys? Yeah. 99.9%, I'd really? say. But it's really pretty high. Wrong. I'd say you're wrong because I, I – I, uh, Yeah. I'd say you're wrong about that. I hope you're wrong. I think yeah. that we cross racial, sexual – All right. And um, – Gay, transgendered, American Indians. And uh, what's it called when you're uh, – when you're in financial lines. Mm. Mm. White trash to the richest of the rich. Wall Street types. Oh, yeah, we have some much. fans that could uh, – listeners who that could afford to send us – Cables and iPads. <laughs> and we have some that said they couldn't afford the booty time. Right. 
So Fucking we're, white we're, trash motherfuckers. You know, I'm not done apologizing. <laughs> I think last week we offended uh, overweight people. I'd like to apologize to them. I don't who, accept who it. Good, I like that. Who else will? Um, uh, who, who else, else have you offended? Uh, skanks. Sk- I, I honest, that was an honest mistake because the I think you know. Well, I, th- I think you didn't even offend skanks because I think this the, the per- people's point was skanks don't exist. I thought I thought I saw some okay, girl. Okay, well, you know what? I apologize for um, even suggesting that skanks exist. Uh, of course, <laughs> I just mean uh, you know I mean to correct myself in every way. So I'll take that word out of my book. Who else, Walt, have I offended? Ooh, um, Betty I, Boop enthusiast. I think yeah, I think you're on the right track. I don't okay. know how long this will last. This um, this cultural to new me Q. But, but isn't this the hope of all people who who get offended that like people will change? Yes, and grow and grow. And now recorded for posterity is my my change and growth. Tell him, Steve. Dave. No. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you guys asking for for Christmas this year? Oof. I want to. I know I'm not going to get it, but I want one of those three wheel motorcycles. Really? Yeah. Really? You would yeah. go get your license a and everything. Spider? Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah. I saw. I saw some old man riding it. and It looked so fun. Uh, I was like, I would love one of those because I mean, there's no balance needed, right? Not really. I mean, it's a tricycle basically <laughs> that goes fast. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really want one. How much do they go for? Probably uh, the cost of a motorcycle. Probably. Like- Ten grand, eh? Oh, I'll, grand. I'll look it up as, oh, as we're. Um, Is there something cheaper I should be asking for? Uh, I mean, there's motorcycles. There's the puppet DVD from the Tom, Steve, DVD Dave. Is finally available. Can you believe it? Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What? The 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 long awaited Tell Him Steve Dave puppet theater that only uh, some very uh, visionary listeners got in on. Backers. Their, yeah, backers got in on it uh, back in the day through Kickstarter. Almost a year ago, but, but was it, it was a year ago. It was right around the storm of the, the day the uh, the um, the Kickstarter closed. Wow. Huh. So it's been a year in the making. A year in the making, <laughs> and uh, you are now going to be able to own it for your own private DVD library. You know how I can say that this is going to be impressive to people? As I showed it to somebody who's not easily impressed. And they were blown away and told me that that should be a television show, a weekly television show on Cartoon Network or was your wife? Central. Was huh? it your wife? No. Oh. It wasn't my wife. Somebody else who was very hard to please. Edgar? <laughs> <laughs> and said it was on the level of something they would see on TV and were stunned at the professionalism and the, the amusement and the, the entertainment value. That really? This, that this had blown away. Hmm. And I, I can't get this person to smile. Sunday Jeff. No, I'm not going <laughs> to say who it is. I'm not going to say who it is. An unknown critic. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm. If you want one of those spiders, Walt, that's going to run you 15. Ooh, I'll st- I think I'm going to go with the Tell Him Steve Dave puppet DVD. How much does that go for? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe it's $20 or a little bit less. $20. And I think that includes shipping. Wow. A mm-hmm. little bit less. And I won't have my hand, my life endangered every time I go out on the road. No. no. But you may laugh so fucking hard, dude, that uh, that you fucking bust a gut. I'm not saying that it, it may not be uh, dangerous to your health to watch this DVD. Probably is. People, to, to somebody who like, has, has, a, has a weak gut. <laughs> yeah. Fact, your belly's going to bust. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but I got the news today. The puppet, the puppet DVD is banned in 15 countries because of that. Because of the danger of watching it, people are busting can guts. One, can you name a couple of countries that's banned? It? Yep, Malaysia. Who banned this? I want to talk to this person who banned it. The United Nations. Yeah, there was a big conference. <laughs> they all got together at Camp David. <laughs> too many funny bones busted. Too many guts popped. <laughs> this crazy man. <laughs> All our Malaysian guts is busting right and left. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Muslims in uh, Malaysia, right? Isn't that the, that's like their chief? Uh, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. I don't want to mess with mu- Muslims either. Yeah, you keep it. You keep it. Uh, what? You keep it very quiet when uh, it comes to certain groups. The mafia. Yep. Oh, yep. Nothing to say about them. Malaysians. Yep. The anonymous, the anonymous hacking groups. I got nothing to say. Anonymous. About them. Oh, I love those guys. I think they do great work, important work. Uh, Muslims. 
Nothing to say about him. Nah. I signed a petition the other day. Did you? Uh, yeah. Uh, Muslim Muslim chicks uh, where they had like a day Muslim women to drive Please. nah they're chicks man the one I saw was this fucking guy hot this guy doesn't get a walt what are you talking about because they're not allowed to drive because guys are so you American? think this this particular religion is gonna change in America mind? probably because of um, uh, yeah, well I think it's because even over here like the more strict ones uh, their husbands are like nah you can't drive on certain days you can't drive I don't think you can drive at all Oh, you can't not drive allowed to all. drive a car. Yeah. So why? But so it, what would that petition do? Who will they show that petition to? Their husbands? We look. Look, I got. Yeah, Brian Johnson of Tell Him Steve Dave. And, and beard guy from Comic Book Man is at the top of the list, and he says it's okay for me to drive on Tuesday. Yeah, and now there's a fucking day. price on oh, my head. head. Uh, I don't understand what is, what is that petition? Who are they going to bring that? Petition I think it's to? just. I don't think it's a petition like, hey, let them drive. I think it's just in support of like you know getting. Um, the the people, the leaders of that country, leaders, Saudi Arabia. Up. I think it was Saudi Arabia, particularly specifically. Is it, the, is it the churches or the mosques in this country? You maybe you could, they could take it to the leaders of these these mosques and maybe be like, "Hey, can we drive, please?" Uh, yeah, maybe, probably. For they're fucking not even allowed to ride bikes. See, not Q. It was like six months Q. ago. They're Q. riding bikes yeah. around. This is the now maybe the anorexia costume. I I agree with you. That is a more bad, that's a better cause than the anorexia costume. If more people were to sign that petition like Brian Lee Johnson did. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right now. Yeah. We'd be battling a bunch of really bad drivers on the road right now. <laughs> but at least they'd be driving. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Keep talking. I got a letter here. I wanted to read this. <laughs> that is, that, they give you license to do that. Okay. Wow. Um. So, yeah, uh, uh, merch. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm looking for right now. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. It is tellemstevedave.merchtable.com. Okay. We got two sweet shirts there, and we're going to have, uh, by the time you hear this, hopefully, the DVD is going to be up there, too. And I'm pretty sure it's like 20 bucks. Not a bad price, man. Are you kidding me? That's a great fucking price, because I know Blue Collar has the... Uh, the file and it's compressed and all whatever it needs to be done. Oh, so, so it's already taken care of. Yeah, that's great. Yep, and I think they have. I think they said they had some in stock actually. Really? So it might not even be a total like pre-order situation. Oh, that's great. You're gonna get it before Christmas if you order it right now. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. You, you, that's the perfect gift for the Tell Em Steve Dave fan, yes. right? You and your stocking. You pull out the puppet DVD. It'll be like Christmas when you got like you got Transformers or that's that right. GI Joe thing you love. That's right. What was that thing you got that you love so much? On the Christmas pod. That fucking apple that popped out of the turkey's ass. <laughs> <laughs> the the, well, the apple, apple that got japped. <laughs> um, okay. I got a letter from a wonderful um, listener who um, got two copies of Crypt of Oakman and sent one back. Oh. Really? Oh, that's a... That's a, that's a good that person's right all right. Um, I, he didn't sign the letter, though. Um... This person that uh, thought that the DVD, Jason. the person that thought the DVD was uh, could be a TV show, are they in a position to put it on TV? They are in a position to watch it on TV. To watch it on TV, <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we got one Excellent. watcher so far. <laughs> Excellent. But I got this wonderful letter when the guy Jason sent back this sent back the um, the extra DVD DVD. Um, his name is Jason. I won't give the last name, though, uh, because it says, um, I'm sure it sounds like a broken record by now, but you three truly lift my spirits week after week. I am far from a happy person. Depression runs in my family, and unfortunately, the gene didn't skip me. However, as soon as Jay Sarge's riff starts, and Jay Sarge is working on a riff for the Fiasco Pod, mm. that oh, is yeah. so fucking good. Really? That I'm like, damn, man, that dude's a genius. Um... Uh, he says, when he hears Jay Sarge's riff, that rare smile appears and remains there throughout the pod. Anyone would be hard-pressed to find any other form of entertainment that's remained as honest, smart, and funny as TESD. Please refrain from listening to any complaints, Done. assholes, Done. who are out there who cry about commercials, get them, or breastfeeding. <laughs> Nothing. Walt's the only one crying about breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, you just said about that about the roadhead. Yeah. Okay, that's way that's fuck way over the line more than fuck breastfeeding. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on now. But, but you may have an out here, though, okay, Brian. Good. 
<laughs> Nothing you three do needs to be changed or apologized for. Well, I, just I spent like this guy. Ten minutes apologizing. <laughs> and now that I feel as though I thoroughly let three dicks. I don't know. So I don't know. I'll end this rant. Jason needs to work on his handwriting. But um, <laughs> he's telling us don't ever apologize for being uh, TSDQ. All right. So you I should. So you just go back to being. So I'm Q? just going to retract my apologies from earlier. I say, why not, you? Yeah. Uh, they were fucking hollow and meaningless. Yeah, yeah. they didn't mean anything. <laughs> the second we shut off the mics, you completely negate everything you just said anyway. <laughs> no, but what's important, Brian, is what I said to people in public. Right. That's what's important. Not what goes on behind closed no, doors. No, not what I actually think and how I actually feel. <laughs> it's how I present myself to the public that really fucking matters. You fucking idiots out there. <laughs> but fucking Jason... moron who want to fucking ignore the way that humans actually are. You fucking dickheads. I'm taking Jason's... What's going uh, on with this guy? Jay, Jay, uh, I'm, take, I'm taking Jason, him to heart. Now, Jason isn't a lawyer or doesn't work for any, oh, any shit, company that will, that, will re, re, that will hire you when Truth oh, let you go. Oh, I mean, I, mean, uh, <laughs> uh, I apologize once again. You know, you got to think with your wallet, Q. You're right. You know, always think with your wallet. You're right. And you'll never go wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Jesus said that, right? <laughs> that should be on our. <laughs> Why they don't replace "In God We Trust" with, <laughs> with that is beyond me. <laughs> a dollar bill. Yeah. That should be on there, man. Always think with your wallet. And I we'll mean, never that, go wrong. That would be more. That would solve a lot more problems and a lot more people would be like, maybe I should think of my wallet on yeah. this one. Yeah. A lot of frivolous purchases mm -hmm. not made. Oh, we're doing a commercial for a DVD nobody needs. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> All right, so where do they go to order this, Brian? Uh, they have to go to tellemstevedave.merchtable.com. M-E-R-C-H-T-A-B-L-E. Dot com. You can still get our T-shirts there, too, right? You got two very fucking fine-looking T-shirts here. Mm -hmm. I never got one of those t-shirts. Which one? The gray one Any or the other one? Oh, we can get you one. No worry about it. I'm not paying for it. I'm, I'm thinking with my wallet, bitch. Yeah. You're <laughs> <laughs> you need? He, just, he, he took it to the least they could do for the guy. And fucking steal his fucking property. <laughs> they, they really should have done that, right? They, like, they're I like, mean, they should have given him a gesture. <laughs> at least, well, not. I mean, I'm talking about the shirt. And when they're like, "Hey, you know what? Let's start a comics pod. We'll call it I Sell Comics, and we'll use the I Sell Comics theme that, right. from Tell Him Steve Dave." Let me just say to Walt, like, "Hey, we were thinking about doing this. Do you mind?" And I'm sure you would have said yes. Of course, I would yeah. say yes. Well, they don't have to ask. They got to do it anyway. So what yeah, I guess. Make? Yeah, they're like, "Fuck you." What's that? What's that saying you always yeah, say? Why ask permission when uh, you can yeah. beg for forgiveness? It's, it's better to ask for forgiveness than beg for permission. Yeah, that, yeah. Ming took that to heart. Sure, yeah. then I created a monster. <laughs> get mine! <laughs> <laughs> so get the puppet DVD. And, Deck, could you put some uh, Christmas music behind this? Because this is the perfect Christmas present. Yeah. Sean, what else am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking assholes! <laughs> <laughs> that would be Think With Your Wallet, Deck, and that would be... Um, no fee Christmas music, you know, public domain <laughs> Christmas music. Yeah, don't get a suit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we may need you to move your podcasting studio out to international waters. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a dinghy <laughs> in the middle of a fucking. <laughs> like the pirate radio. <laughs> <laughs> With like 15 cats. <laughs> and a, a shortwave radio. <laughs> bunch of Ben Gay for his creaky joints. <laughs> Cotton pods. <laughs> Oh, this isn't the life I imagined. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt so alive. <laughs> the SS Creaky. I'm international waters. <laughs> Having no idea none of the transmissions are making it to us. <laughs> Nor is anything he doing illegal that he has to <laughs> live his life on a boat. <laughs> 